families. So since we're doing a laundry unit, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about clothing identification and marking um, your clothing. So even when your kiddos are very little, uh, make sure you're introducing them to color words and talking to them about what color clothing that they have on um, and what colors work really best for them. Um, not every color works well for everybody and it's important for our kiddos to know which ones look best on them. So, um, and as you're introducing, um, you know, independent dressing and matching their own clothing, um, it's really an easy way to begin is um, to teach them about using safety pins to be able to uh, mark your wardrobe. So um, I put a vertical safety pin in this shirt. Um, and in this shirt, I have put a horizontal safety pin. Um, and then in these pants, I have also put a horizontal safety pin. Um, so the, then your kiddo can match the direction of the safety pins with the items that go together. So these two items would go together, but because this one has a vertical safety pin, these two would not go together. And then if you have an item of clothing like jeans that goes with pretty much anything, I don't mark that at all. So there's no safety pin in here. Um, so safety pins are a really great low cost way to be able to mark your kiddos um, wardrobe. As they get bigger, um, the safety pin can, um, you can do more safety pins to mean different things. Uh, maybe two safety pins would mean a blue shirt and three would mean a red or whatever your organizational system um, would be. You can buy um, small uh, metal braille tags to sew into your kids clothing that indicate the color. It's another option. Um, you can use buttons or beads um, for identification as well. Um, but uh, I think safety pins are probably um, in everybody's um, house someplace and they're really easy to be able to teach your kids to be able to use. Um, so my son Miles has some pretty significant sensory issues and he doesn't like the way tags feel and he certainly wouldn't like the way that that safety pin felt on his clothing. So if your kiddo also doesn't like the way that that feels, um, you can always mark the bottom seam on the inside um, with a small safety pin with the same system um, so that they would be able to match and identify what those are without being able to feel it and feel uncomfortable. It would also be pretty discreet down here at the bottom. Um, so there are some higher tech ways. You can buy color identifiers. You can get apps like Tap Tap C to be able to um, tell you what your clothing is um, as another option. Um, so for socks, um, you can buy sock locks, and I don't have any sock locks here, but they're a um, plastic disc with four triangles that point to the center of the circle, and um, you put the toes of each of your socks into those sock locks when you're done wearing them, and then toss them in the laundry, and they run through the washer and the dryer, and they come out already together and paired. Um, so I don't have any sock locks at my house, but what I have done is I bought my kids um, and my husband all the same sock. Every single sock is exactly the same. So um, anytime that they have a sock, it goes with one other sock that they have, um, which is another option um, for you guys. Um, another way to identify your clothing um, is sometimes just by what the clothing is. Um, you might have a sweatshirt that has um, a zip up um, or a hoodie, or the different kinds of buttons. Some are round, some are smooth, um, and some have bumpies or ridges. Um, so those are all other options. Collars are another way to tell. So being able to pull those pieces out, um, show them to your kids and have them to be able to identify what those are so that they can increase their independence and be able to make choices for their own self. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.